Hello, my name is Roberto. I'm a geologist with the Live team. And first of all, I apologize for my English. Well, let's begin. Here we have our Live Mine Metro project, catering both the database we got and also the block model developed by Boyd in 2021. Uh, here we get a plain view of both the North Pit and the South Pit. The head traces correspond to our RC drilling made within our grid control campaign inside the pits. And the green traces correspond to our diamond drilling made by the exploration team. Um, as you can see here in the in this north field, only the exploration diamond drill holes go further down. And the grid control obviously gets information only inside the pits that was already mined out. Uh, this called my attention and I decided to compare the samples from the shallow zone inside the pits, both, most inside the pits, that goes down until minus 25 meters, and, and compare it with this information that I called from the intermediary zone between minus 25 and minus 150 meters, and the deep zone that goes further down minus 150 meters. As you can see in the statistics, they both, they, they all get the almost the same mean value and almost the same median value. And the total mean is of 1.45 grams per ton in the database with all the data above the low grade cutoff of 0 0.3 grams per ton. But the Boyd's model reported only a mean value of 1.09 grams per ton. So it's a little bit underestimated in relation to the database. Now in the scene view, I will show you the, the, or the gold grades, all the samples above our low grade cutoff of 0 0.3. Now, all the samples above the high grade cutoff of 0 0.7 grams per ton to the maximum. Now I will do a, a cross section here showing how these samples are distributed along the, the both bits. And this yellow line here corresponds to the resource bit that Boyd used to report all the resources that will be mined in the open bits. As you can see, as I enlarge the slice, we start to get some rich samples out the pits, out the resource pits. And they were estimated, but not reported by Boyd's, as you can see here in their block model. All these resources would be called inferred underground resources, but they were not reported. Only what they called indicated underground, which was of just 3,000 ounces. But SRK in 2014, 2015, reported all the resources above the 0 0.3 cutoff, getting 2 million ounces. And we believe that this report, uh, this, that this report may still be true, uh, while considering that the Boyd model is still a little bit underestimated. Here I will show this, a 3D view of the resource pit and all the blocks that are outside this resource pit. So as you can see, I'm rotating here, we have lots of blocks, even high grade blocks that were estimated, but not reported. And that for sure, as we keep developing the pits and keep drilling, we will get information that will convert these inferred resources into both indicated and measured resources, making up again to the 2 million ounces that were reported by the SRK model. And that's it. We are very confident that we can convert these resources and expand and increase the, the life of the mine.